My name is Vin Sharma. I work at Intel in the Open Source Technology Center. I'm a software strategist. Um, and I'm Jason DeRose, and we're here at UDSQ in Oakland. And um, Vin, so Intel is a sponsor of UDSQ. And can you tell us a bit about um, why Intel's sponsoring, what Intel's you know, involvement with open sources? And Sure, I'd be happy to. So Intel's been a very strong participant in the open source ecosystem. In fact, it was one of Intel's own um, PCs that inspired some of the development of Linux in, back in the day when Linus was working with it. Um, and ever since we've engaged with the broader open source ecosystem to certainly empower a lot of the technology that comes from Intel and enable that in the software layer but also work with partners to develop products and solutions that enterprises, that consumers, that businesses can use. So we've been a very active participant and it's, uh, this is a form in which we, um, which we support the community, the developers that work on Ubuntu or work within the Ubuntu ecosystem. So it's a great way for us to show our support. Fantastic. So I know the Summit um, Cloud is a you know, huge focus and uh, what, what are some of the things that Intel's looking to, you know, kind of build awareness around as far as um, software technologies that are being developed and to support, you know, new hardware features. And yeah, so Intel's been engaged with the development of cloud and adoption of cloud computing for quite some time. One of the things that we have is uh, a very clear sense of a vision for how cloud computing ought to shape up in order okay. to better serve the needs of both businesses as well as consumers. And we've called it sort of a cloud 2015 vision in which we envision clouds to be automated, to be federated, which means that you might have a choice among various cloud computing um, ecosystems and platforms and be able to move your workloads across them. Also client awareness in that you know the cloud services that are consumed by um, businesses as well as individuals are better able to understand the, the context of the, the usage, right? So if it's whether it's a PC or a client or a mobile phone or anything else that the cloud cons cloud service is being delivered in a way that be takes best advantage of both ends of the compute platform, the data center as well as the client. And one of the things that we're really excited about um, the UDS this year is the uh, the inclusion of the the cloud summit as part of the event, and that was uh, that was a, a welcome introduction. We found a number of sessions that were quite useful there. Um, and quite informative. It's a good way to bring the open source community that's working on cloud computing together. So that was um, a good thing to see. Nice. So um, is, is OpenStack a pretty big focus for Intel then? Or? So Intel has a, a, a general view that we believe customers, businesses, or individuals have a choice in the kind of software that they'd like to see deployed. Right. And regardless of the software that they choose, we work very hard to make sure that it runs best on Intel architecture. And to us, that means that there are a number of features, not just performance of the processor, but also its reliability, scalability, um, security of the, the platform itself that we'd like to see exposed into the cloud environment. So customers who are deploying workloads in the cloud uh, or migrating workloads from an enterprise, traditional enterprise data center to a cloud environment, have the same kind of visibility and transparency and accountability that they've come to expect from an enterprise, also from the cloud. That means that um, we'd like to see clouds that um, are in compliance with security standards or privacy standards or any kind of um, regulations that are established by local or regional government. Um, and to that end, um, we really see a opportunity to contribute upstream into the OpenStack project to drive a lot of those enhancements and evolution of the project to serve the needs of customers who are looking for those kinds of security compliant, audit compliant cloud environments that will help migrate more of these workloads into that more elastic infrastructure. So we've worked upstream in the OpenStack project since its inception to enhance um, key elements or key components of the project to become better aware of the underlying hardware infrastructure. So we expose these features that I mentioned earlier in the platform to 
components of the OpenStack infrastructure that help provision these workloads. So for example, if there are um, if there's an application that needs to run in a zone that is known to be in compliance with, say, the healthcare industry privacy standards, then okay. the, the intelligence that is within OpenStack to place those workloads in that zone is better aware of the entire architecture, that entire infrastructure in which those workloads are positioned. So these are things that Intel's been working in OpenStack for quite some time, and we're really looking forward to uh, the maturing of the OpenStack project and its uh, evolution into products and services that vendors um, can offer, the software vendors can offer to, uh, to customers that, that bring that entire stream of technology to bear. I see. So yeah, so we're really excited about the OpenStack project, um, and which is why you'll see us um, talking a fair bit here at UDS about OpenStack. We did a plenary session on that topic as well. Another project that Intel's very interested in that aligns very well with Canonical's interest as well as the Ubuntu developer community's interest is Hadoop. And um, there's a lot of interest in deploying Hadoop as an analytic platform across a massively scalable infrastructure. We see a number of those infrastructures using Ubuntu server as the platform and having Hadoop optimized to run best on that kind of a platform with Ubuntu on Intel architecture is in our joint interest and in the interest of the customers who are deploying that Hadoop cluster. So we've um, developed a number of tools and best practices around how to optimize the performance of Hadoop on Linux clusters and we're making that available in the form of uh, a toolkit as well as white papers and other knowledge artifacts. And those are th some things that we'd like to, to bring forward to, to the Ubuntu developer community as well and to customers who are deploying Hadoop. I see. So what are some things that um, customers might be interested in, in that's been covered this week in terms of uh, customers wanting to run um, a bunch of server on Intel hardware? Yeah, so one of the really exciting projects that's been kicked off for quite some, um, in, in the past about nine months or so, is um, the, the release of um, a, a new modular server infrastructure. In fact, we're showing that off here at our table today. Um, it's the, the, um, the Intel modular server is, is a converged infrastructure that includes um, compute nodes as well as storage that can be very quickly reconfigured and is really well suited for small medium businesses that like to start out with a particular with a with a relatively small footprint compact footprint but be able to scale as their business needs grow um, and to have that entire infrastructure be easy to manage and to be virtualized from the start so you can add new virtual machines to serve the infrastructure as the, the demand grows. So the Intel modular server takes advantage of a number of software components that we've built in collaboration with Canonical. Um, the virtual machine stack, the virtual machine management layer are all developed in close collaboration. So Intel and Canonical have worked together on that project. And um, the Intel modular server is, is a really good solution from <laughs> Intel for um, for small businesses, <laughs> many businesses that are looking to scale. We, we also expect that it could be um, a good fit for a number of other scalable environments. So there are customers who are looking to exploit this new footprint and to use it um, for a, a scale-out infrastructure. That's something that they should explore as well. We'd be happy to talk with them about it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, uh, it's great to see Intel here. and. Um, Maybe we'll see you another six months. Yeah, I'm personally delighted to be here. It's a, I've been a good friend of a number of people working um, with Canonical for quite some time, and it's great to catch up with uh, um, with fellow travelers. So happy to be here. Fantastic. Thanks again. Thank you.